Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, we've got Happy Birthday, Lily, at Lily Jones, 1948. It's an Instagram collaboration hosted by Tinkerbell, 1970s. And our theme, rainbows. Let's get to it. I'll be using the Betty Cora tips today, and here is Sweet and Sour Lacquer, White Silk. And we're just going to do some base to get some, you know, pretty, pretty going on. And I do really like this white polish. I wouldn't call it a one coat. Maybe it could on shorter nails, but um, on these gonkin tips, I'm going to go ahead and do two because I really, really want them to look great. I have high expectations for this manicure today. So a couple of beautiful coats of that. Once it's dried down a little bit, I'm going to use INM out the door and cover these up with a good, you know, I'm being generous with this top coat. Um, it's a thinner top coat, so I can do that. And I'm going to get this to dry down so that we can do some serious playing. Once that's totally dry, I'm going in with the Pure Ice Frosted Finish. This is going to make it mattified so that my stuff didn't stick to all of the polish because I'm using some Hollow Pixie Dust stuff from um, She Modern today. Some sparkles, some yums. Yep. And I want it to stick good. This is yours, YS07. And they got written real tiny, so I read it on the back. I'll be using She Modern Silver Metallic Sticky Stampin' Polish. And the Hollow Red, Hollow Orange, Hollow Gold, Green, Blue. And I even did purple, but it didn't make it into the clips. Sorry. You will see it here in just a little bit. So I'm going to use all these different images off this plate. Um, something different on every nail. And then I'm going to rainbow thigh them. I'm going to make them rainbows. And here we go. Get a tip out. Plop that image down. You don't have to work fast because it's sticky stamp and polish. Got dog fur in there. Let's get that gone. All right, try to get this stamper cleaned off on my lint roller. And we're going to go on in with the next image. I like these images because they're very big, and I'm using these long tips today. As you'll see, I do run into issues with it, so it's nice to have as big of an image like this, you know, to cover the full nail. I will do some patchworking here in just a little bit on one of them. And if I'd have placed it right, I might not have had to do any patching at all. Really like that. That looks cool. And I think this is the one where I end up not doing it quite right. I could have done it diagonally and not have had to worry about this. But here we are. Just be bopping along, doing our thing. Um, these are some long, these are the long coffins. So, you can see up at the top, I don't quite have it. And I've got some extra on the stamper, so I'm just going to clean off some that I don't want getting in my way. And I'm just going to go in and try to line these up. And kind of add some lines to make it go all the way to the top. This is some of that, you know, uh, fixing stuff we have to do sometimes. And then... On to the little baby pinky nail. And I really do like these plates. They're stamped. I mean, they're stamped. They're etched quite nice. They're um, rather deep. And by using the sticky stamping polish, it's like, ta-da, perfect. All right. Got that one on the little nail. Okay, time to clean up our mess. We're going to clean this plate off with some acetone. I flip my cotton ball over, get some more juice on it, some more acetone, and uh, get that finished cleaned off. And the little stampy mat, too, and my scraper card. Get that out of the way. All right, so I'm going to just go in and tap in all the colors. And at first, I'm thinking I need to do it by the line, but about halfway through this, I realize I can just do like 
blobs down the center and then do my tapping. And um, it makes it very, very easy. And I'm just going to go ahead and fess up now. I loved how these turned out. I'm going to want to do this again with um, like my nails. Own my nails. I'm going to have to do it again. It might not be this big, but it's okay. I'm going to clean off my finger on my lint roller. And then head on in. See, I'm still trying to do the line like, like I have to do it that way. I don't know what I'm thinking. Here in a minute, I'll get a grip and behave. I love this. Love this, love this. Before I forget, there sh should be hashtags, links to the other people over on Instagram that participated. If you just need to feel the need to go check out a bunch of rainbow manicures, they're going to be here over on Instagram. Not everybody does videos, but ugh, I can't wait to see all the other rainbow manicures. And I'm just getting that glitter all over me. Look at that, y'all. It's okay, though. I'm washable. I am not dry clean only. So here we go. And I love these little bottles. This stuff just comes out. You tap, tap, tap. And it's just beautiful. I get out just what I need. And not very much waste. I really don't feel like there's much waste with these. And I've had these for a while. And I've used them. And I still have lots more to play with. So we're all good. So I am just tapping it in. And then I'm setting them off to the side to let them kind of jellify a little bit, you know, let that glitter stick down to the sticky stamp and polish, and it kind of dries it when that happens, so that we can do our brushing off here in just a moment when we get done. I'm actually going to let them sit for a little while. I think I go, like, unload the dishwasher or something and come back and then brush them off, you know, just give it a little time. Take a break. Tap, tap, tap. And these just tapped in so beautifully. Love them. All right. Got quite a mess to clean up. I start off with my lint roller, and then I'm just going to head on to the bathroom, wash my hands off. It's the way to do it. All right. Got my little fluffy brush out here, and I'm just giving them a quick dusting with the brush. Oh, knocked one smooth off. And then I got to get all the off of my holder. I'll be using the She Modern Sealer Stamping Clear Matte Color Jelly Top Coat. It's a mouthful. Um, and I really love this because it goes matte and lets me know when it's dry. Once it is dry, I'm going in with my oh, Eliana's Collection Top Coat. It's my glossy quick dry top coat. Seals everything in, keeps it all in place, and uh, I can't wait to get these on my nails. They're so pretty. I really did have a great time with this one. All right. I'm going to use the little glue tabs to adhere them to my fingers, my fingernails, and there we have it. Here is swatch photo number one. Number two, and finally, the third swatch photo. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.